Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a completely new game, Amurta City of Gangsters, came out a couple of days ago. I was kind of on the fence for whether or not to record this, so I figured I'd do the first couple of missions and let you guys see if you enjoy it or not. Uh, I haven't really played too much with this just yet. Mr. Soul. Uh, if you've played like a game like Tropico, I think it's from the actually same guys that made it last time around. But uh, I'm on the fence about whether or not you guys will enjoy this. It's, I haven't really played it too much myself, so I can't really say too much about it. But uh, I want to give it a shot and let me know if you enjoy it and let me know if you want to see more of it. It won't be replacing anything. It'll just be an extra little thing for you guys to watch. Anyway, you grew up in a small village in Sicily. Your childhood nickname was... Yeah, but the hood, really, it goes without saying. What do these things do, actually? you got muscle, melee helps characters move at distance. Finesse determines characters' proficiency with or firearms. I think finesse with guns, really. From what I, I know very little about this all, but uh, I know that melee kind of sucks, I think. Uh, so we'll go with, like, maximum finesse. When you were 16 year old, you fell in love with blah, 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 You challenged to a duel. Since you were challenged, you got to pick the weapons it was. Because I'm an arsehole, I'll pick a pistol to go to a duel. <laughs> Price on your head. Uh, what one gives you finesse? Do any of them give you it? Not particularly. A vendetta wiped out your family, leaving you and your brother the only survivors. Sounds most interesting. Uh, we'll go on medium difficulty. Because I want to have fun. America. Here I am, fresh off the boat. Five bucks in my pocket, dreaming the American dream. I had to get my feet on the ground pretty damn quick. In the land of the brave, the wicked go unpunished. In the land of the free, freedom is an expensive commodity. Even the freedom to have a drink. Success is never about hard work or fate cutting you some slack right when you need it. Success comes from giving the people what they need, when they need it. Okay. Okay, you've got the entire of Atlantic City, it's during the Prohibition and all that. Which is kind of an era that I like I got to a with. drink five minutes after I arrived in Atlantic City. The Prohibition hasn't changed much here. Tourists still flock to the world's playground for a drink and a round at the tables. Me, Freddy Tonino, and Squiggs got a room in the less prestigious part of town. We scraped up what cash we had and got our hands into the booze trade. Alright. This guy really loves to interrupt me, doesn't he? Anyway, you got a gang member level up and everything else, so let's do this, shall we? We'll do the first couple of missions, and uh, if you guys enjoy this, I'll record more of it. Like I said, I've done like the... I clicked on sandbox mode and screwed around for a bit. That's about it, really. So, uh, yeah. I'm a... Uh, Relatively new to this. I believe it's made by the same company behind the Tropico games. But there's a lot more combat and uh, like mini games and stuff in this. You'll see. Welcome to Atlantic City, boss. Let's look around our new home. Move the mouse on the edge of the screen. Yeah, 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 we know that. Moving the mouse around the edge of the screen. Okay, so. Can we go around all of... No, we can't. I found us a nice place to stay near the famous boardwalk. Okay. Use the minimap to select the green. Alright, because we've only got, like, little sections of Atlantic City to explore. Information, I can upgrade it. Since we're new in Atlantic City, boss, we should learn what we can about the district and gather some information. There's a shop across the street from our home. You can build buildings. You can use buildings with the question mark above them to gather information about the neighborhood. Which is, I assume, is this giant building here. Either of these actions will allow you to learn more about the district at a different cost. So, Big Spender is bribing him with some money. And that one bribes him with some beer. So, uh... There you go. We'll do that. Time to get my hands. Good job, boss. I eagerly await your return. Assignments take time to complete. Gangster can tackle any one assignment at a time and will be unavailable for the duration of that assignment. Wait for the boss to return from his assignment. And is that me running across the street? 
Okay. I have style, nonetheless. You can't see inside other buildings, it appears. There's a reason why I'm... Looks like you found a couple of independent breweries, boss. We can steal some beer from them. Because <laughs> we're like that. Independent businesses may offer opportunities such as buying, stealing, and selling alcohol. Aggressive actions such as raid will lower your relation with the business owner, and you may refuse to do business with you. Select one of the buildings with beer mugs over it and use a raid action to steal some beer. Hoorah. Okay, we do this one, I guess. Uh, you got drive-by. The drive-by attack will force the owner to vacate the premises. Apparently I'm a mastermind, and this will happen faster for some reason. Raid the beer brewery to get 20 beer. Raided businesses may bankrupt afterwards, and you can buy beer from them as well. So we want to raid. A real boss ain't afraid of grunt work. There are far too many opportunities for you to handle it alone, boss. Why don't you bring in Squigs to help? You can hire additional gangsters and send them on assignments. This way, you can run multiple assignments at the same time. The portrait of a silhouette with a question mark represents the empty slot for your henchmen and your gang. Double click it. Blah, 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 blah. I think this is more or less a tutorial. Let's look at squigs. I shall hire squigs. We can examine them. Pistol, I think. Alright, quick. They each got their own individual little. And you can level up and stuff and unlock different things, which is pretty sweet. Okay, that's hire squigs. Hi, boss. I heard that you found some guys stealing illegal alcohol. We should steal their beer. I like this guy. <laughs> It's the kind of guy that we can push around. As soon as we can't afford to buy alcohol, we can simply take it by force. Who's going to stop us? It's not like they can call the cops. Okay, Squigs, come here. Ah, there, and you can go raid this place. I won't beat my gums, boss. It's now about time as you new relation cold. Yeah. And I'm walking out of there. Just waiting on Squigs to get his ass down there. What can we do here? Alright, you can upgrade and get additional storage, which I assume is this here. Liquor, beer, firearms, cryo storage, hidden storage and items increase your storage space. If you run out of storage, you can force to hold a fire cell. Alright. And you can decorate your place with fences and paths and gardens and decorate your hideout. I'm not quite sure what that does, but... Good work, boss. Now we can sell the beer and make some real money. I heard some Irishman is looking to buy beer. You should talk to him. Most profitable deals can usually be found come from jobs given outside contracts. Click on the jobs button. Blah, 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 jobs. I you think don't have many contacts yet, but that'll soon change, boss. In the meantime, you should maybe make a deal with the Irishman. Jobs are arranged in several categories. Beer, liquor, firearms, money, and special. Use the category button to find jobs you want. Click on beer offered by Ben O'Connor. Okay. These guys really love interrupting me when I'm in the middle of talking. I'm not used to that with Total War games. I was almost hit by a brick on the road today. Ouch. Now I'm rethinking my life. I should buy some beer, open a pub, and give up me life of crime and racketeering. And wear a helmet. Can you help this poor Irishman mend his ways? Okay, whatever. We'll send Squigs. It's a he's... free cunt. The job's on the way, boss. Stop in the rock to me, take Squidge. Take a look around the district while we wait for the job to finish. Okay. So it looks like you've got rain over these little areas and stuff in the building. Yeah, so you've got free rain over different sections of Atlantic City. Uh, you've got independent businesses going along, competing with yours, like an illegal booze joint like this, so speak easy. The owner is making more beer, blah, 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 blah. So if you own one, you'll lose business to him, and you could, like, bust him out, and... I don't know. It, it, it looks quite interesting, that's why I'm quite looking Boss, forward to doing it. the but. job's done, and we've got the money. We should use it to explore the district for more opportunities. Okay, building your question marks from what they're called informants, and you get informants to find out uh, information about certain people, I assume. Uh, here he is. Once again, you can pay him off or give him some beer. Uh, we have plenty of cash, so... I won't beat my gums, boss. I'll send Squigs, he's my grunt man.
But yeah, uh, whether or not you guys will like this, this is just why I'm doing sort of this one video as a tutorial and uh, to see if you guys are interested in doing more of this stuff. I think it gets more action packed and stuff. And uh, I think you can eventually, if I go to gangs here for a second, gang management, you can. I'm not. I'm not sure if that's exactly how many gang members you can have in your gang at one time. Or that's how many you can find. I, I'm not entirely sure, but... You must be able to fill the entire bottom of the screen with different gang members to select. I know you can, like, rob banks in certain locations, I think. Farce, I can't find Squigs anywhere. Squigs! I'm afraid something may have happened to him. Oh, God. He's been jumped! This henchman is imprisoned and is not available for any jobs. Action or combat encounters until released. <gasps> Squigs! You bastards! Okay, let's go. Where's Swigs? Send the boss to investigate what happens to Squigs. A real boss ain't afraid of grunt work. Damn it, my guy has really good cardio. Look at his legs. I mean, he's, he moves like hell. Look at that. He really loves this Squigs guy. This guy knows where Squigs is. Bars. Some people saw Squigs get jumped by three goons. Son of a bitch. They dragged them into their car and drove off away from the boardwalk. Where are you, Freddy? Get your ass down here, man. Stop telling me shit and actually help me out. Uh, okay, where, where can we look? Just that one place inside this warehouse, which is an abandoned warehouse, which is obviously where, yeah, people say that some shady characters have been seen going in and out of here. The description fixed the goons that took Squigs. I'm coming for you, Squigs! I'm coming for you. Time to get my hands dirty. Okay. You, my bad. It's clues. Okay, does the building open up and I can see inside? Or great. Ah, come back. Use the bandage talent to heal HP and revive. All right. Squid's in terrible combat tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to command your henchmen in tactical battle. Okay. Assign. Assign and start. Now, this is the thing that interested me quite a bit. The combat and everything. It kind of reminds me of, like, XCOM. In a way. It's, like, turn-based and hmm. you set up your people like... This is a tactical combat mission. You must rescue your bloody squigs and defeat all the thugs in the warehouse. Move the mouse edges of the screen to pan the camera. Use middle mouse button or the alt key to rotate the camera. Use the mouse wheel to zoom up and down. So we can rotate the camera with that. Character screen are called action points. They are used to perform attacks. They are called movement points. Okay, we well have certain movement points and certain action points that we can use to use certain finger jigs. Uh, click on the left direction and click on the right again to confirm. If you previously selected an account, you will right click or escape first. Try moving forward now. So. Okay, so I assume that these little things here are like uh, cover points where you can take cover behind certain things. You've exhausted your movement points for this turn. Please end turn. Yeah, so what do you think if you had like a, at least like five gang members and you can all attack a certain location against different enemies. So you move all your guys and then you end the turn and then the enemy moves. And then they, if, you, if they come in your line of sight, you shoot them. If you've ever played XCOM, I think it's a bit like that. Time to get a move on. Okay. And there's, so, there's going to be someone in here, isn't there? So let's rotate the camera like this for a second so we've got a bit of an extra... Uh... You've encountered an enemy. Try attacking him with your basic attack. To do this, click the first attack button, aim the attack and confirm it with a left click. If you are armed with a melee weapon, you will be able to close an enemy. If you're armed with ranged, blah, 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 indicate the enemy. Remember, most attacks will not only cost an extra, but deplete your movement points. The only event line across the screen allows the character to see is currently active and the character will end the, the, the enemies and I will be able to join the battle. Okay, so we are in cover there. And um, we have different second wind, which allows me to do that. Stomach shot, a less precise shot that targets the enemy's abdomen. Okay, so let's just use a basic one for now. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, you don't have enough attack points to make many more attacks. If you are done with your actions to this turn, press unturn to conclude your turn. Oh, come on, he's in like four health. Okay, I'm in cover, so... Aha! He only hit me once. Your health bar is an info panel representative of your remaining hit points or HP. 
Wherever you are wounded, you will lose HP and you will fall unconscious wherever HP you are depleted. The courage bar represents your remaining courage points. You will lose courage when wounded and due to some special attacks, but we will regain a small amount of courage each turn. If your courage falls below 20 points, your character will become panicked, losing AP and mana points blah, 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 until you regain courage. Okay, let's pop this guy in the head. Just walk blatantly into the open like this, and... Nothing personal. Did... How did I miss that? Okay, that's... Okay, I can't really do much else. End turn. Time to get a move on. Let's, uh... Let's spin the camera around for a second. Run right to this box. Time to get a move on. Now you can level up. Yeah, those little green bits are like action points where you can hide. Is that Squigs or is that the enemy? Hey, I found your buddy Squigs. If you rescue him, he will join you. How do I do that? Hmm. Ah, there you go. Okay, can I, like, select squigs? No. Yeah, boys! Okay. You end the turn, and then you get to select squigs. I'd like you in cover, Squigs, dude. Probably gonna get attacked on our way out. Time to get a move on. I take no chances. Hear that? Yeah, boys! Alright, I see. If you see the top of the thing, if I end turn, it will go to me next, and then gangster, then gangster, then me, and then... It kind of goes like that. Hmm. Yeah, that would be me. And that's their turn next. Oh! Aha! I see you, you prick! Okay, his buddies. Oh no! Squigs! Your characters have various talents and special abilities that cause hit tilt in the battle. For example, their favorite Squigs has special bar defensive stats. Increases defensive significantly. Okay. So let's get Squigs here. He has a 74% chance. Let's get I'm way Aha! better than you. Damn right you are, Squigs. Get in there, man. Hmm. Squigs is bleeding, though, I think. Okay, so he's like there. So if we move this guy, the boss, just around here like this, he should be able to get a decent line of sight on this fucker. Nothing personal. Oorah! All the enemies are dead. You are victorious. Okay, string in trouble. Come out. You have one. Kills two. Sweet. See, now that's the thing that entices me about this. Just the building Thanks complex. Thanks for saving me from those thugs, boss. I would have taken them out myself if they hadn't snuck up on me like that. You've gained a level, boss. You choose your new perks from both me and you. Perks give uh, passive benefits and improve your performance in combat. Each time a gang levels up, you'll be able to choose new perks for each of your gang members. Okay. See, this is the main thing that uh, entices me about this game. The whole combat system. Uh, along with the, like, leveling up and everything. Okay, increases r damage with range. I think I want to, uh, what else we got? We got, uh, increases courage, refills, do 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 gain additional thingy. Characters act faster at the start of battle. Improved damage with immediate weapons, more criticals, sniper. Range damage deals 20% if your character... Does not move this turn. That requires seven finesse, and I have nine finesse. So I think, yeah, damage increases by that, or damage increases by ten. And I don't really move when you're standing still, so I think sniper is good. What else do you got? I mean, you got quite a lot of stuff. You need quite a lot of higher stuff for that, but we'll go sniper. And you got all kinds of different weapons that you can equip. So that's uh, level up squigs. 
the squigs got? Uh, range specialist. Can I give him a sniper? Has he got enough finesse? Yes, he does. We'll keep Squigs with us. He's like my. Now that you've dealt with the distractions, we should return to the, to the task, task at hand. hand: making money. Explore the district to help informants. Okay, let's uh, get Squigs because he is the grunt. Even though he was recently attacked by brutish thugs, he is nevertheless my bitch. He paid fifteen. Okay, you have to pay salaries for everybody. Uh, if you see on the maps, there's like little green dots. Okay, let's get Squigs to go here. We'll uh, bribe them with some beer. No rest for the boss. I guess better. Now that there's light, I can actually see. Okay, so you can go here. I'm in a rush, boss. Okay, there you go. But yeah, uh, this is what entices me about the whole thing. Mainly, okay, what we got here? Jobs. Beer. You have no available henchmen to start new. Okay. You got police presence as well. If you do too much stuff, it will generate heat. Yeah, it represents the current police attention to your activities. Heat is increased by certain criminal activities and gradually rises depending on the police presence in the current district. If heat, if heat rises to level five, the police will take action against you. That's how it's done. And if I think you, they lock up your entire gang, then they like uh go to hell or something. I don't know. Something happens. I'm I'm still kind of rusty with it all. But, uh, as you know, the channel isn't just Total War based, it's, uh, more or less based around strategy games. I mean, that's what I play on the PC, mainly strategy games. So, uh, if you guys find this interesting, then I'll definitely record more of it. Uh, I, li I like the boss. era and everything and everything else. So, what are we doing? Make dirty money. We need to make some money, which we will need, uh, I don't really have any money. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, it's, we can raid some stuff, can't we? Small distillery hidden in the premises of a lot of opportunity for clever thieves. Yeah, if we, no if we raid balance. and gain some liquor, then we can sell it. Some local moonstarters are making good liquor. Oop. Okay, let's wait for the boss to be ready before we do that. So yeah, there, there's quite a bit of downtime to this there's game when you're, all your characters are doing something. Okay, let's do this attack. It's a free country, in it. Let's go beat the shit out of some moonshiners. Especially considering there appears to be like no police presence in this district whatsoever. Okay, let's do this, Squigs. You're one badass God, killer, Squigs. Let's do this. Now, like earlier, later on in the game, you can like, uh, I think you can yeah, boys. rob banks and all kinds of shit. Okay. We've got Squigs here. Where's the boss? He's over there. Are there like two entry points to this building? Yes, there are. So if we send Squigs in this way... Uh, I'm hoping there'll be no one there. We can just quickly get in here. Horse feathers. Yep. Here they huh. are. You found them, Squigs. Uh oh, Squigs, you're in the open. Uh oh. Uh oh, Squigs! Hmm. Oh God, he's alive. Okay, that's, uh, I don't know, should we send the boss in through this way? Maybe if he flanks him. See me and you die. Okay. 
gimmick. It just seems like a giant uh, death trap, that really, doesn't it? Can we shoot him from here? No. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This could go badly. Squigs! Look at that, Squigs! Defend yourself, man! Ah! Yeah, boys! Pathetic. Now we can take cover. Oh, come on, Squigs! You suck, man! I'm deducting your fucking pay. Hmm. Aha! <laughs> Time to meet your maker. Get in there, boss. At least Squigs is in cover now. I got Squigs! Oh god, he's bleeding. Hmm. Yeah, boys. One shot to the head, Squigs. I shoot okay. you, you fall down. It's okay, it's okay Squigs. Minor setback. Minor setback. Okay, we've got a uh, couple of enemies left. I have no idea how many. Me. Really, Squigs is out of moves. Oh shit! They're flanking the boss. Hmm. Get to the car, boss. Ready, boss! I don't particularly like the idea of being stuck behind that tiny crate here, so we'll go over here. Time to get a move on. Now he's right in the open. How come Squiggles gets four shots with his sister and I don't? I'm way Hoorah. better than you! Oh yes, I am badass. I am badass. Victory is mine. <laughs> Sid, this is the main appeal of this that I uh, wanted to play it for. Okay, I've already raided that place. So what can I do with these guys? Time to get my hands dirty. That's sweet. Okay. Let's just... Uh... Whoa, we got a lot of liquor. Look here. Okay. Send squigs over there to deal with that. Now, I think, like, down the line, you can, like, rob banks and uh, fight the cops and go into, like, a gang war That's with other members done. across the Atlantic City for beer and supplies and shit. Now, when Squigs do this, we'll try and sell some beer to somebody as well. I think that's better prices than the fire cells would be. Is there anywhere else that we can, like, raid around here? Okay, that's another information place, but... Uh... Done, boss! Yeah, now we should be able to go to here. And... Son of this guy. Beer! 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 I need it, you sell it. Make me an offer I can't refuse, and I probably won't. No rest for yeah, the Yeah, there you go. We sell him the beer. As you said, beer! Beer! Yeah, we get it. Hey, look down here for a second. We got, uh, feared. Rep uh, re represent your reputation with the people of the neighborhood. A high feared rating allows purchase of land at a cheaper price. What was I doing? Sorry, I was wondering what the hell that. Uh, land at a cheaper price. Some buildings will make higher profits depending on reputation. And then we got liked. Represents your reputation with the people of the neighborhood. A high like reputation provides the lower prices for renting businesses in the area. Some buildings will have higher profits depending on your reputation. Boss, it's those damn thugs again. The ones that beat me up. We have to take them out before they end up taking our money, boss. Right away, Squigs. Okay, me, me and Squigs are already badass combat trained motherfuckers. 
Oh, the sounds of it, they're attacking us at our high dev. Sons of a bitch. Okay, that's... Time to get a move on. I don't want to go near that window. There's bound to be some, like, right out there. I'll take care of him. Damn, if I only had one more shot. Oh, I can get yeah, squeaked boys. out here now. I know there's going to be a guy right outside there in that dumpster that's going to shoot me in the head. Horse feathers, here they are. I shoot you, you fall down. Danny squares you missed again, you bastard. Okay, their turn next. Two of their guys have to move. Okay, one coming in from outside. Oh, crap, he's shooting the boss in the head. The boss is bleeding. Ah, he hit me for a table! Son of a bitch! Yeah, boys. Stay down, boss. <laughs> I shoot you, you Ooh, fall rah. down. Okay, Soul's hmm. turn next. Okay, their turn next. Squigs! Ready, boy! Damn their crap! I shoot you, you fall oh, down. Oh yes, easy and f***ing done. Squigs got all the kills, get in there, man. Promotion, I told promotion. <laughs> Those goons were persistent until I taught them a lesson. I doubt they'll be coming back soon. I fear that we made too much noise here. I think it's time to take our winnings and move to another part of the city. You have won! There we were. Me, Squigs, and the Stiffs. They jumped us, and they got what they deserved. Squigs lost two of his fingers. I lost the man I was before. There and then, smoking gun in my hand, dead bodies all around me, I realized that I'd passed the point of no return. If the law couldn't protect me and mine, I had no use for it. If there were no paying jobs for me, I'd be my own employer, make my own rules. And if that makes me a gangster, then yes, I am a gangster. Okay, guys, anyway, I, uh... We'll select this little place here. Things didn't pan out exactly as I planned, boys. Seems like we'll be having some competition in our new line of work. We're gonna protect what's ours. And if anyone tries to get their dirty hands on it, well, they're in for a beating. The bad news, the bad is, news is, is that a little scuffle scared off some customers. Okay, he's gonna do it. No one wants to do business with us. But we'll set up our own alcohol supply and distribution network. A brewery here, a speakeasy there, we'll be up and running again in no time. Okay, we won't do this mission, but uh... Bit of a cliffhanger and a little taster of what we will be doing if uh... We do, nice do more of this. Nice to meet you, lad. The name is Emmett. But everyone calls me Doc. I heard you're looking to get into the booze business. Best bet is to make a brewery, blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys, that's all for now. Uh, if you like this and you want to see more of it, I'll probably upload it every Wednesday in the place of a third age video or alongside a third age video, uh, depending on whatever the hell is easiest, really. I quite want to record it. But uh, I want to make sure with this kind of thing, because we are going away from a Total War game. It is a strategy game, in a sense, with a bit of real-time strategy and combat and everything. And I, I think it's a pretty nice little thing and a change from Total War for a bit. Like I said, it'll be like uh, one video every Wednesday or something. Uh, but yeah, if you like it, let me know, and I'll consider it for some future stuff. We'll just save. Save it as what I save all my games as, YouTube. <laughs> well, yeah, guys, uh, that's all for now. So if you like it, let me know in the comments, and I will get around to recording as much more footage as I can. That's all for now, guys. Soul out.